Here we have the Leica DM500 with the ICC50 integrated camera. Um, this portion here is the camera unit. And you can see I already turned it on, but down here is the power switch to turn on. And again, the students won't have the camera unit up here, so they'll just turn the switch on. Um, we'll run through the student operation first. Um, obviously the power cord is plugged into the back down here and then into your out wall outlet your power switch is on and you have your on the left side is your light rheostat for brightness and intensity you got coarse fine focus knobs as well as your right and left xy stage control i don't have anything on the stage at the moment but to look at so for the students what you want to do there's no there's no uh, adjustment in the eyepieces other than getting their bifocal uh, um, parcentricity but uh, other than that or their diopter setting sorry the distance between their two eyes that's all they need to do up there until they get the uh, centric view but down here on the stage there's a few things so at this level you can see if we're on a 4x there's a thing called a condenser underneath and you want to make sure that that's set to 4x and it coincides there's 4x 10x 20x 40x 100x labeled on there so that gives you the proper amount of light coming up through the condenser aperture so if i switch to 10x i want to also make sure that i switch to 10x on here and again you can dial it down below 10x and see what that does to your sample. Maybe it looks better that way, gives it a little different contrast. So there's nothing wrong with that. This is just the optimal lighting settings for a bright field microscope. That's all these are, just a reference point. I switch to 40x, and so I dial it up to 40x. So on 40x, you're gonna have a lot more depth to your image. So you're gonna have to focus up and down with the back focus knobs and to get, you won't see the whole image in focus at once. So because of that, sometimes you'll want to see more depth. You can actually dial this down, the condenser down to 20x or even lower, or wherever it starts to look good, and you'll start seeing more depth pick up in the sample without having to focus as much. So that's a little trick. You'll also see on some cells or things, you could see inside uh, the inside details like the inner workings of the cell a little bit better as well and then obviously you have your 100x lens so the 100x is an oil lens so you'd have to put your little drop of oil on there in between the lenses here in between switching put a drop on the slide and then push the oil into place now when you're done with the oil and also don't forget to move the condenser up to 100x and there you go there's your 100x oil and now if you switch back, just beware that this will swing into that oil droplet if you use the 40X. So many times the 40X gets dirty this way and then it has to be completely cleaned to get that oil smudge off the 40X. Otherwise it'll be a blurry lens for the next class. So always wipe your oil lens. I would recommend always telling students to switch this way to the 4X Wipe your lens over here with your lens paper to get that oil off the 100X, and then get your slide off the stage and wipe the oil off your slide before switching to any other lenses. The 10X and the 4X are plenty of working distance, so you're not gonna get oil on the slide, or oil on the lens, obviously. But this 40X is very common to get swung through. So always, if they're from the oil, don't go this way always go this way to the 4x plenty of space here so they won't get that oil on any other lenses clean off your lens clean off your slide and then start imaging again or go to the 40.